I think I would like to have a wake and funeral and uh, see Doug one more time and Linda Billman, <laughs> Steve and everybody. But I guess I'll just write about it. That is a clip from a Zoom interview we did a few weeks ago with Bill Landry of the Heartland series. He was promoting his appearance at the Dogwood Arts House and Garden Show. After we were finished, we started to wonder what it would take to have a mini reunion for Bill and the Heartland staff. So led by Leanne Bowman, our producer extraordinaire, made some calls and invited all to the Museum of Appalachia earlier this month for the reunion. We didn't know we all needed. It's hard to pull one over on a man who's made a living out of telling tales. He saw an Obed River Gorge. But on a chilly Thursday at the Museum of Appalachia, Bill Landry was surprised by a blast from his past. Oh my God. Oh no, Amy. God, look at this. Bill. How are you doing? Countless years of experience filled this reunion. I'm doing good. Oh my goodness. Hey, Bill. Hello. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow. This is a program about time, staying constant, changing everything. While Bill was the recognizable face and voice of the Heartland series, this crew made sure he had the stories to tell. People loved you. Well, they loved us. They loved what we did. One of the top storytellers was producer Linda um, Billman. It was a kind of a magic time to have that pass. And that's all way we know. The hard way. Tell stories that uh, weren't getting told about people who were just ordinary folks, like Bill like said, living, living their lives. A lot want. of memorable characters. The fish swim the streams, the forests are thick with game. If you ever wondered who captured the beautiful scenery in each of the episodes, it's this guy, Doug Mills. People appreciated the stories and, uh, you know, spent all their lives doing their, doing their living and had the opportunity maybe sometime at church, somebody would say, I saw you on TV, you know, and, and it meant something to those people. It meant a lot to get recognition. The man who oversaw the Heartland series work, Steve Dean, joined them via Zoom. He always had that bigger view in mind, and uh, you know that was his talent, his gift, was to bring, uh, bring it whole and, and make it true. Whoa! I think most people don't realize how physically hard also it was to do the Heartland series. I mean, it was a uh, shooting on location nearly every episode. Um, in situations where you don't have electricity, you don't have any support. Um, it, it was just a physical challenge for everybody involved. Producer Amy Anderson and editors Ernie Engel and Amy Palmer each have special memories of working on the Heartland series. Well, we were all um, multidimensional, I guess. Uh, we didn't just produce or write or edit or host. We all have acted at some point as a background character in the show. Our uh, friends and family have acted in the show. I grew up watching the show. When I went off to college, I took, I took some of the uh, episodes with me to remind me of home. So it was, it was the coolest job I'll ever have, like hands down. I would get all of the tapes the refuse. She would get whatever was left. <laughs> I would go through all of the video and just get completely immersed in Doug's beautiful work, Bill's on camera, audio, Linda's writing, and with all of the collaborative of, of getting what's, how the show's gonna be, then I would be in this dark space for hours, three minute show, took an all day, sometimes for the longer shows, we pulled all nighters. There were no typical days at work when you're working on the Heartland series. 
rather ones filled with creativity. You know, it made ordinary people extraordinary in a way. Laughter. <laughs> I never, I never understood the joke. <laughs> and mutual respect. I mean, we could probably, we could probably go to work tomorrow and uh, figure something out. God, how special is that? The group says some of their favorite shows center around Halloween and April Fools. And they also wanted to give former general manager Jim Hart, who is an incredible individual, an incredible man, incredible leader, credit for making it all possible. The Heartland series runs on Channel 10's YouTube channel. Hard not to get a little teary-eyed seeing all those folks, Todd. Oh my gosh, Jim Hart, Steve <sighs> Dean. Steve best Dean, the, the architect behind Heartland series, the Straight from the Heart logo, and, and many in all things Channel 10. He's the uh, Straight from the Heart that. brand, Steve Dean. Straight from Dean. the Heart brand, yes. yeah, uh, Steve Dean uh, behind all that. So uh, just a, a wonderful group of folks, and that's what it, I think uh, it's uh, incredible uh, privilege to be a part of Channel 10. A lot of Absolutely. people coming together to make some. It takes a lot of people to make a, a great product, and they certainly did that.